Today is day one in Brisbane and in my dorm basically. Now I have to take everything out of my suitcases and pack. Let's get going with this whole cleaning thing. Thank you. 
wanted to film the whole cooking process but i was talking to my roommates but the burger tastes yum or the sandwich tastes yum So I got a bunch of grocery yesterday but I went and kept it in the fridge and everywhere because there was a lot of stuff but today I got some stuff so I thought I'd show you guys. So this is my grocery bag. This is basically a duffel bag but I'm using it for groceries. So I got this Indomie uh, ramen thing like I, would, I have two packets of Maggi and I won't be consuming a lot of ramen but this is for like emergency. Then I got this two liters of orange and mango fruit drink. Then I got some strawberries, raspberries, one garlic, and one attention, lemon. Attention, testing in the fire system has been completed. So I was also going by the city and I saw this place called Mitsuki Sushi. And I got like sushi takeaway for lunch, basically. I got one avocado and cream cheese and one cucumber. Oh yeah, feels so good. So good. It's actually so good. It tastes like the carbonara pasta. It's so good. Oh my god. This is one of the best pastas I've made. Hands down. Hi, so I have like less than 10 minutes uh, to get ready, but I also have to finish my breakfast, which is some chia seeds pudding with raspberry and strawberries. So today is my orientation week and I quickly thought that you know, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing and all that stuff. Um, before I start off this whole process, this I think would be the last time that I will be speaking to you about the process of how my course works and all that stuff uh, because I'm going to be pretty busy with uni and I don't think I'll have time to explain further. Yes, let's start with the first question, like the most asked question that everyone's been like bombarding me in my DM with is a uh, what course am I here to study so I'm here to study my masters in public health and the reason is because I have always liked research and right now I felt like this was the right uh, thing to do that is why I am going to be pursuing my masters in public health number two is why did I not choose to do MDS so in every other country apart from India you will need like a license exam to clear and then only you can take up MDS or then only you can start working in that country. So Australia has an exam called the ADC which is the Australian Dental Council license exam. Only if you clear ADC you'll be able to practice as a dentist or study your MDS. But I have no plans of doing that as of now. Maybe in the later future, maybe, maybe not. So I have not been preparing for the ADC exam. I have absolutely no clue about it so I am the wrong person to ask your questions about it and like anything related to it on how I prepared for my exams and everything. The only thing that I had to do for my course was it didn't require any exams because I'm already a health professional and that was the basic requirement along with my marks. I just had to submit a proof of my degree and some mark sheets and some other formal documents and all of this is already on the internet like if you guys are looking to move to Australia you should like check out the list of web, uh, universities that are there in the continent and you can like make a list that's how I made it work I made a list I saw what uh, what subjects are, um, each university offers and what aligns with me and then I picked up this university so that's how it works so public health is a subject in dentistry in uh, my final year I've already studied it so it's not like it's completely new but I only 
learnt it as one subject now i've just decided to take it up as a whole major uh, please don't ask me for the job opportunities all of that is there in google so i would request you to go and check all of that out because if i keep talking that's going to take a lot of time and if you find anything difficult like just register with an agency and they do everything for free they basically just tell you how to apply what is the right college for you and you know based on your marks and everything and uh, like which is a better city to live everything is being told by the agents themselves i am not mentioning the agency over here you can go and check out my previous vlog i've mentioned it in like text in my video because i don't want to promote any you know like agency or anything like that but i had a good experience with the place i went so yeah, they told me all the necessary things that I needed to know about uh, the course, the university, everything, everything is uh, given in the websites of each of the colleges or you can, like I said, approach an agency and ask for all the details. So like orientation week is where we get to meet our teachers, we get to meet other students. It's a very exciting week. <clears throat> so today I have to be there at around 9.15. Oh my god, am I running late? It's like it's like 8.10 right now. So I need to leave in like, I mean less than 10 minutes actually. So yeah, I'll just get ready, finish my breakfast and head out. Hello, hi and welcome to my room tour. I know you guys have been asking for my room tour since in Chennai but I have never done one because see the room I have always been thinking but finally I said 
this room up um, i just wanted to show you guys and take you through everything super quickly so i might be changing things like over the months but right now this is the setup and i think it's very convenient i don't i didn't really bring any organizers on the madri because it didn't fit my suitcase so if i buy or if my parents send it to me from india i might be able to organize things better but right now this is going to be the setup i'm excited to show you guys <laughs> Oh uh -huh. 